Natalia and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I have to do the intro like that. So here it is. I become Talia Mar in this video. So keep watching to figure out how I do it and watch my boyfriend's reaction to me changing up so much because I am naturally blonde. Well, I'm not naturally blonde, I'm naturally dark, but my hair is currently blonde. I filmed this like a week ago and I decided that I would film it this week instead. And I'm so glad I did because Talia put up a makeup tutorial literally yesterday from the day I'm filming this. So we are going to start off with my base. Um, I have some of the products she does. I don't have all of them just because um, I don't use a lot of Too Faced anymore. Used to all the time. So I'm going to start off with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I love and I need a full size of. I will keep saying that till I get a full size of it. Um, and this is just really like, pore filling and sticky and oh it's amazing and it's slightly cooling on the skin. Alia does all her cream contour and things like that underneath her foundation so that is what we are going to do. She uses the NYX cream contour palette. I actually have the Anastasia cream contour palette so I'm going to use that. Um, I've just realised the plastic is still on it. <laughs> Um, I am going to take that on a Morphe X Jeffree Star, even though we don't stand him anymore, uh, JS3 brush, and then I just mix the two shades here to get the consistency I want. Um, and then I'm just going to contour my, where's my, it would help if I use my mirror instead of the view part finder. Um, just contour my cheekbones because I have none. So many of you might be like, why Talia? So I've actually met Talia a few times in real life and I'll leave the pictures on screen. Um, many of you would have known that anyway because she's been in a vlog or two as well. Um, I'm contouring my forehead slightly. Um, and then I'm also, Talia also contours her nose. So we, d we are doing that. I need a smaller brush for a contour on my nose. Um, she's absolutely beautiful. And I just thought it would be my next step. I love these sort of videos and creating a look where I slightly don't look like myself and challenging myself into someone else's um, looks. And let's contour my chin a bit. I don't actually really contour my nose. I quite like my nose. And then I'm going to take a Morphe blending brush, a blending brush, a blending sponge and just slightly blend that out so it's not as harsh on my face. And you'll realise in this video I waffle a lot. Um, and then I am going to take my Revolution um, Conceal and Define Infinite one in C2.5 C2 because um, I pale. Um, it's like Tali was like, I'm pale and I was like, you're still a lot darker than I am. And then what she does is this, um, she like does the inner corner and then does the outer corner. I've always done like a triangle under my eye. So I'm going to try and do this and see what it looks like. I'm also going to take the concealer on my eyes just for the fact that um, I really don't like my um, eyelids have really bad pigmentation and then I will be mixing a Too Faced Born This Way she uses the matte version but I only have the original um, and MAC um, Studio Fix foundation because those are the two shades I have that are better I will be wearing a wig for this look as well because obviously I have very blonde hair and Tali is dark at the moment I'm going to take NC15 uh, Studio Fix from MAC and put it on the back of my hand because that's the only way I can mix it. But take a little bit of that and then we'll take a little bit of Too Faced Born This Way and mix them together. Um, the back of my hand is like Talia's and will always look like a canvas when it comes to foundation and makeup and stuff. And then I'm just going to blend that out across my face. And if you do not wet your beauty blender or whatever brand of sponge you use before you do your makeup, please do it because it, you scare me. Like, you genuinely scare me. Because I am the sort of person that has to blend everything and make sure everything is seamless and perfect. So this is near enough on colour now. Um, Obviously in the winter I get a lot lighter than I used to be. Um, 
this summer I seem to have gained slight tan because I was out a lot and obviously because we could only do so much with Covid and everything like that and what Talia has given me as a trick is to keep blending till you want to go near the powder so that's what I will be doing in a minute I'm going in with the Fenty powder um, I can't remember what she uses a Laura Mercier one but I don't actually have that anymore I need to buy a new one it's on my list of things I need or want um, so I'm going to go into the Fenty one that is in the shade Butter which is the lightest shade Fenty does um, because I am that pale but I love this powder and this powder is one of my favourites in the world um, I rave about it all the time on this channel and you, everyone will know that uh, I'm just going to do this under my eyes and everything like that. As you can see from the picture reference when I first started, you will know that um, Talia's got nothing really on her eyes and everything like that. Well, I am definitely an eyeshadow person, so um, we are working with what I can work with. I'm not going to do eyeshadow. It's just going to it's going to be as close to the natural picture as possible. Um, and then I'm just taking the rest of the powder that's on this sponge and just blending it out onto my face. And that looks fine. And I look very like airbrushed and seamless and like doll like and that's what I want. Because Talia has flawless and I mean flawless skin. So next I am going to be taking what she did take but probably in a different shade than what I've got. The Fenty um, bronzer. Uh, mine is in Shady Biz. I think hers is probably the one up but I'm going to take it on a Morphe E4 brush and just pack it in on. I'm going to tap some of it off on the back of my hand because this stuff is pigmented and just contour my forehead, my jawbone. So this, uh, the video she put up was an old style Talia video and I, I'm so grateful for it just for this um, look. Oh my god, my baby hairs get everywhere. And then I will be taking that same little E62 um, brush and just taking a little bit of the powder and doing my nose again. I try not to do a heavy nose contour. Um, obviously I could, but I will just blend, go back over with my sponge and blend it out because that is literally what Talia said. She was like, I like defined makeup, but I also want it to look soft and blended and everything like that. And that's the sort of thing I like. Um, next we are going to take a blush. She didn't say what blush she was using, so I can't dupe that. Um, I'm just going to use the Beauty Bay Bitten Blush. Um, take a little bit on my brush and then tap it off in the like um, lid because this stuff is pigmented. <laughs> Talia just turned around and went, I just ha won't tap into a blush, I'll just use the brush and I was like, what? And then I'm just going to like rosy up my face. Um, she does it on her nose as well so I will be doing that too. Which is not something I do normally. Um, as you knew from the Belle Delphine video that I did, I do not do blush on my nose or anything like that. And then I will be going over it again with my sponge just to dye it down a little bit and make it look more seamless and more blended. And like soft and filtered and everything like that. And then she sets her face and while her face is still wet she puts highlight on. So I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite um, setting spray. She uses the NYX matte one. I used to iron that one and it didn't work well with me but this one works better for me. So. Didn't feel like my face was wet enough. Um, and then I'm going to take a Morphe M501 brush, this is my favourite brush for highlight, and actually take a Talia highlight. This is Talia's collab with Ofra, this is in the shade Soho. I do not own Rodrigo Drive, I just think it's too dark for my skin tone. And then lightly swirl around and do my highlight. 
and then she like goes over it with a sponge which I will do and then she does both sides kind of takes in her like eyelids which I was a bit surprised at but we will do the same um you won't probably be able to pick that up and then I do a little bit on the end of my nose the top of my and then she does a bit down the bridge and then she blends it out because she doesn't want her nose highlight to be too dramatic which I understand so I will blend out both this is so beautiful like even though you can still see my highlight and everything then I am going to go in with the wet and wild um Break a heart, uh, heartbreaker liquid liner. I think she uses the Too Faced Better Than Sex one, but I do not own that. I will come back after I've done my eyeliner because I can't do them online. My eyes completely, I've done liner and mascara. I am going to put some lashes on. I'll do that off camera as well because in the picture I am referencing, she does wear lashes. My natural lash eyebrows are quite light anyway, and I'm just going into the Revolution Chocolate um, Pomade. She uses a pencil. I just don't do well with pencils um it's how i did my brows for years but like i now prefer a pomade it just makes my eyebrows look better with the wig i'm wearing you'll barely be able to see my eyebrows anyway so. we are just using a morphe brush most of my brushes are morphe or spectrum or i think there's some random brands in there as well but those are like the top three We'll talk to you anyway. I love Morphe brushes and I actually genuinely like the Spectrum brushes. The girls at Spectrum are lovely as well, I've met them. And they're just beautiful and lovely. And then I'm just going to s soften up the front of my brows by going in with my sponge. And um, I apologise for the rain. Um, I can't do anything about the weather but it is banging on my window. So. The last step is lips and I actually have the lip liner she uses so I am going in with Praline from Peaches and Cream if I can open it <laughs> which I got the other day in a bundle or something like that and then I, found, I went back on Talia's Instagram and found the old Ofri lip she used to wear So I bought that. Tali has a lot nicer lips than I do. Um, I've just realised I've just ruined this, so I, I will sort that out in a minute. Um, and then I am going in with the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lip in the shade Pasadena. I don't know what lip she was wearing. It's probably the one in her nurse video. I do not own that. I don't really own any Too Faced lip products so unfortunately it's not in my collection these smell amazing and then yet again I do not have a tissue like she didn't I need to blot my lips and then just dry them down a bit better and then we will be going on to hair so I'll see you all in the next clip you can see since being off screen I have plaited my hair that is ready for the wig I have put on some lashes these are the Tarty Lashes in TL3 um, I've sorted my lip situation out and everything so next is the outfit in the picture she is wearing a yellow checked skirt um, so this is what I'm going to be wearing a black crop top I don't have a plain black crop top so I have picked I found my Zara one so it's got tiny little strings on the end but we deal with it and then I couldn't find her trainers and then when I did find them they were like 70 old quid at least um so I picked up a pair from Pretty Little Thing they've got yellow incorporated into them they've got some cool leopard print and they're slightly holographic so I'm about to get changed into the outfit and then we will go into the final step which is the wig and then I'll go see Liam's reaction so outfit is on I don't know how I feel about this skirt but we we'll deal with it um it is from I saw it first and it's quite short um and then we have our little chop and then if we pan down and we all know I can't pan on this tripod here are my little trainers. They're well weird, like having this much height, ignore my jeans. <laughs> I thought they were in shot. Having this much height 
is ridiculous in a pair of trainers. But yeah, here is the fit. And next we are doing the wait. So back to my least favorite part of ever filming these videos is putting on a wig because I start looking like an insane person. So um, I'm just going to pull my plaits back into like a little like bun sort of situation and then put a little wig cap on well that was easier than I thought it would be last time around it took me forever to do the wig cap so we have got a wig cap on I'm hiding all my blonde hair which is a big issue because I have naturally like dark hair but this wig is black. I have got my, this is such a beautiful angle of me. Um, I'm going to put in some little hoops because in the second picture on Talia's Instagram it looks like she's got some sort of hoop in and I couldn't tell what ones. So we are going with some little um, gold like, they're not really hoops, they're like huggers so they look like hoops but aren't hoops which are very 90s and very vibey. Um, I love these. These are from I Saw It First as well. I did like a I Saw It First like shopping thing. I like bought a load of other stuff from I Saw It First when I bought this skirt and then just bought a load of other stuff because that's what I'm like. I bought two jumpers as well uh, including a jumper you might have seen so far. I have one that says off day which is like me and the jumper. I can't put this earring on. That is better. And then I have this beautiful wig with a fringe from um, Lula Bells and it comes in this beautiful little pink pouch and then I'm just going to plop the wig on my head and then we're going to style it and I've got to make sure I have this on my own. Probably not knowing me. Yeah, we'll come back when I have this on right and then I will show you the final look. And here she is. I keep playing with the fringe because I'm not used to having a fringe at all and it really irritates me. So the wig is beautiful. Let me move you down a minute. Yes, the tad. There you go. Uh, the fringe is beautiful. The hair is beautiful. Um, it feels real and yes, I keep moving it out of the way because I'm not used to it. Um, but yeah, this is the final product and we're going to go get Liam's reaction and then I'll come back and say goodbye. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? What is that? <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the French at all. It looks weird. It's, it's so dark as well. <laughs> but did I smash the picture? Yeah, you, you can see it. Yeah. Hello, Stitch. Hello, Stitch. I don't know how I feel. The fringe is irritating. I keep moving it out of the way because I'm not. I'm not used to having one. No, you don't see the fringe. I've not had one in ten years. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that is the end of today's video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram because I will be putting up the pictures that are Talia esque. Um, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and comment down below who I should become next. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.